Hey, what's up viewers? Kind of a big deal. 613 Bodybuilding Video Log 8. So, um, I'm going to try to streamline this video as much as possible. Maybe a little disjointed. So, anyways, um, basically the content in this video, um, mostly going to be my progression. Week 2, um, that's two weeks out. Uh, from Friday, we start Friday, I do a workout, you'll see me at the Celera Gym on Friday, and then I go to Saturday where I'm doing some bench, um, and then we move into Sunday, which is today. Um, so I'll feel comfortable with the, the size um, of the sweep. So I just came back from seeing in uh, Casper today, <sighs> two weeks out, and you can see you know the work he's done. I'm actually pretty watery today, um, believe it or not. I'm like, this is a lot of water. I'm not as tight as I have been. Um, but, you know, because Ian did some work, and it's made things like my delts pop out and stuff. Continuation video logging. We are at uh, Celera Gym. Uh, so, this is still continuation of two weeks out. We just started two weeks out today. Um, the Arnold's were today, so the video we're benching three plates over on the regular bench. Now we're benching three and a half on the Smith machine on an incline. Uh, probably bump it to four, then do some volume. And uh, I did back yesterday, and then we did legs. And I've been advised not to train twice a day anymore, but I did yesterday. So that's going to be it for training twice a day. Come two weeks out, today's the last day, I will do it. set. Yeah, so this is where we're at in late. Hard to get a good read. I guess 218. This is two weeks out. Um, today, I'm I'm definitely holding more water. And I know I said this earlier. So we finished a chest blast. So you guys will see next week what it's going to look like, or maybe I'll have an interim video, like kind of two two weeks interim. And you see the feathering in the arms. Um, that's something, the separation. We've been seeing that for, for weeks now. Um, again, my story is that I bought some MTS way down, because today I'm 219. It's the heaviest I've been in a long time. Uh, it's Saturday, Saturday, November 6th. I'm now, uh, I'm now uh, six, no, five days and two, when we get, um, doing some legs on the leg press, I'm doing 405, uh, sorry, and the, uh, the hack squat, all the blood hack squats, and, um, doing some, uh, we're doing some, uh, leg extensions, I did a hundred leg extensions, and now I'm doing a hundred more on another extension machine, so, we're almost done with uh, leg blitzes this week for last week for legs, and then um, then I'm calling it quits. No more leg workouts. One week out, I think at least uh, I've directed maybe a little bit of blood of the legs. But like I said, I'm blitzing it up until the end of this week, um, trying to get some extra volume in the legs. We're uh, nine days out. I'm at Movadi doing the 150s. Um, it's a wicked chest day. Um, although wearing a tank, I, they made me change my shirt. Thankfully, I bought this sick Arnold shirt, and uh, yeah, so we're looking dry. Um, still doing big weights. Nine cut. days out at um, Raba Studios. Uh, Nelson Silva, who owns In the Zone Fitness, um, recommended them. And you know what? This uh, Mo from Raba did an awesome job on my Instagram. I tagged them. If you want the info, so this is. Um, this is at this point we are uh, we are nine days out 
and uh, tomorrow I'm going to go see Ian and Tony. Uh, today I stopped in just to shoot the shit with them because I'm on my vacation. Um, I also went to Mavadi. Um, they made me change my tank top, and they weren't too pleased. Um, it was a guest membership, and uh, I don't know. They had paged me from downstairs to uh, change my tank top, but I didn't go, so somebody had to track me down. It was just a really odd experience, and then um, another big guy who was friends with um, one of the national competitors here, Rob Graham, came to me and said it's ridiculous, and they done it to him. So, um, needless to say, I wasn't I wasn't too um, I wasn't too pleased with uh, my experience there. So, uh, Mavadi, you won't get my service. Um, I'll stick with Good Life, who's been pretty good to me, and with my corporate rate, it's much cheaper by like five hundred dollars. So. Sorry guys, good facility though in terms of equipment, like 500 pound dumb, uh, 500, <laughs> um, 150 pound dumbbells, very nice. Uh, I like those, and nice old hammer strength equipment. Thursday, it's eight days out now. I am on my way to TNT. We're gonna talk about peak week, um, which is gonna be fun um, to figure out when I'm gonna do the carb up, deplete, and whatnot. If you guys want a good peak protocol, I'd see TNT um, and uh, figure out what they have in store for you. Um, okay, that being said, I'm also going to work with posing with Tony. He had an awesome routine for the Arnolds. He posted with Michael Buble. He said he was going to look at some songs, go over them with me. I think he's got some ideas. He's got some ideas into posing, and it's always kind of artistic and fluid. And since I have a classic bodybuilder look, like I find my look is very Frank Zane-ish, uh, mixed with Schwarzenegger, mixed with Serge Nubre, just a very 70s type physique. Um, I think it would be nice to do something kind of slow and artsy. Not, uh, not artsy, artsy but uh, you know just very fluid and slow and not rock music or not hip-hop music just something that works for me um, so I'm gonna attach that to here and then we're gonna do legs and then we're gonna call it quits for video log for the uh, for the last two weeks to one week and then I'll start a one week out video log including the show likely all right kind of a big deal eight um, Paul See you guys later. Smooth. Much better. Much better. Exactly one week out, so I'm one week out from show, um, and this is how it looks. We're drying up, um, things are looking pretty good. 